upset or I'll say Bitches in my old phone But she called when it go home I've been in this love too long The woman that I would try Is happy with a good guy I just finished with my nails. I'm going to take pictures too in the sun, but this is how they look. I think they look so freaking cute. I'm going to take it in a light because the chrome is just not doing it any justice. I think that the chrome definitely is brighter. It just doesn't look like it in this lighting, but this is the final product. Hi y'all, welcome back to another video. I'm currently in the car, bundled up because it's like 26 degrees outside. I am not a huge fan of cold weather because I hate layering because then you get super hot, but obviously you gotta do what you gotta do. And this beanie looks weird on. But anyway, I'm about to head into Old Navy as well as Trader Joe. So I wanted to take y'all along, see what I can find. I need to do a like major grocery haul. So um, I was gonna pick some things up and then just get like one of the and go meals. That's what I mean. But I'm gonna go ahead and get out and let's go see what the day has to offer. I'm trying kava for the first time. I just ended up getting a kid's pita with some chicken, cucumber, and feta. And then it comes with these pita chips. So I'm going to, or crisp. I'm going to eat this and then head back to the house. Just got home. I figured I'd do a really quick Trader Joe haul. Trader Joe's haul. Here is some steamed chicken soup dumplings. I've heard really good things about this. And then I just got this as a quick pick-me-up snack. It's chicken taquitos, some coconut water, barbecue teriyaki chicken. I wanted to try this because I wonder if it reminds me of like the bourbon barbecue style chicken in the mall. I got a Chico stick. This didn't come from Trader Joe's. It came from Vivalo. Then I got peppermint mocha coffee, lemon basil pasta. I like this, especially if you have some grilled chicken. Some turkey jerky teriyaki. It's okay. It's a little bit different because I'm used to beef jerky, even though I haven't had it in years. Then I have two apples, a green apple and a red apple. More coconut water. Here are, I want to say, similar to those chocolate-covered strawberries, the frozen ones by True Fruit. I think that's the name of the brand. But I wanted to try this to see how it'll be one of the best Trader Joe's snacks, the PB&J snack duo. So that's everything that I got. I'm going to put this stuff away and I'm going to actually call it a night. Good morning, y'all. It's the next day. I was so tired last night. I was out and about. I ended up going to bed at like nine o'clock. Um, so that's how you know I was just over it. But I have a lot to do today and I around the house work a little bit of everything. So I figured I'd take y'all along while I get what I need to get done. I also need to figure out what I'm going to eat today. I, that's another thing. I feel like people don't talk about how hard it is to plan and grocery shop for a household of one. It's not that it's necessarily hard. It's more so being able to buy enough stuff for yourself to where it's not going to go to waste. And I just have the hardest time doing that. But I was watching previous vlogs as I was editing and I was like, okay, I need to not eat out as much as I do. I'm very much a grab and go type of girl, especially if I find restaurants that um, are easy to just grab and go. Gusto, Gusto, I think that's the name of the restaurant. They have this kids meal. So it's just rice and chicken with like some teriyaki sauce. I've been getting that, it's under $8. And yes, it might not seem like a lot right now, but it's just one of those things as a quick grab and go. Um, so I went to the grocery store yesterday, I went to Trader Joe's. I got a little bit of stuff and that's another thing too is like, I probably need to do grocery hauls once a week and not two weeks or even a month in advance. It's just a little bit too hard. And for me personally, like my taste buds change all the time and I get hyper fixated on certain foods and I'll eat that for like the next three, four days, maybe even a week. And then I get tired of it. So I need to figure out what works for me because it's been a little bit hard lately with the food situation. And I know I need to get it together health wise because this is not healthy. So. I'm gonna figure out out of the things that I got from Trader Joe's what I'm gonna eat today. 
and then i think i actually still need to go back out because i need to get gas and i still need to get the stuff for melissa's box I, i'm like halfway through and i need to grab the rest of this stuff so i'm just gonna get stuff done i got a call phone at 10 it's currently 9 30 so i'm gonna put this mask on in the meantime it's the kyra moon magic resurfacing facial it has 10 percent aha and niacinamide i like it it does um sting a little bit at first uh it says it's supposed to do that and then it goes away eventually so i'm just gonna put this on my skin because as you can tell i have a lot of active breakouts because my cycle is about to come and that's another thing too like when my cycle is about to come i get really tired like there's no amount of sleep that i can get i will just want to stay in bed all day so that's the first thing i get headaches for at least a day it, it typically doesn't last longer than a day i've had one last like two days but typically it doesn't last longer than a day oh my gosh my lips are so dry and then i get cravings of just like sweet things like your average period person is what i forgot to use this brush right here is what i feel like i am <laughs> so my lower back hurts i get sleepy i want to eat all the time i get hungry i get bloated like i remember i was um recording myself before my period and i was so bloated i looked like double my size and then a week later after everything was all said and done my stomach was a little bit flatter i was like okay so i guess that's just the name of the game you have to love yourself in all seasons and all times of the month but anyway i don't want to keep chatting i'm just gonna like i said let keep this face mask on for about 20 minutes i need to wash dishes because i've had dishes in the sink for the past day um my kitchen is out of order that's the only reason why i haven't washed dishes i'm missing my kitchen cabinet the bottom of the sink kitchen cabinet and it just kind of throws me off because everything on the counters is now at the kitchen table i'll show y'all what it looks like so things are just kind of out of order and normally i don't let dishes uh sit that long but anyway let's go wash these dishes jump on a call with mona and then i'll figure out the rest of the day once i get through that part and i need to put something on my lips because how dry they look and even though i said i didn't like this i don't waste things so i'm gonna finish it but i just i have to make sure it doesn't get in my mouth because it tastes so nasty but this is a Trader Joe's gummy bear bomb. But all right, let's go to the kitchen. And before I start washing dishes, I'm going to try this La Cologne coffee. It's a peppermint mocha. I've never, I've tried this brand, but I've never tried this flavor. It's about iced peppermint mochas. I've learned that I'm not a fan. They have to be hot. It has to be hot. But this is what the can looks like. I mean, I'll drink it but not a huge fan of it. Only been a few hours, but it felt like days. Only been days, but it felt like months. Been gone for a year, only go like once. Life move fast when you do what you want. I guess I'm doing what I want. Hope you doing what you want. I also stopped at Old Navy yesterday, so I wanted to show y'all what I got. All of this cost $20. I got this Elf Squeeze Me Lip Balm in Strawberry. I got this for Melissa's box because it wouldn't be a box exchange without a lip product. So I got this, and then I think I'm going to put a bow at the top of this. I'll show y'all what it looks like once I'm done, if I do it. Then I got these two tank tops, one in brown and one in this like caramel tan color. They were both... $2.99 but I just love these like waffle like shirts they're perfect for around the house or even during the summer with some jeans it's just especially like during the really really hot days I just love the way like this style the way they look so I got them both in a medium because they run kind of big but I'm very excited for that and then I just got two long sleeves this one is in a like tannish light pink color now the thing about it, i have a shirt that's almost identical to this but it's like a lighter pink but this was only 4.99 i don't have a lot of long sleeves and so it was time to get more and then the black thermal that i showed y'all in the last uh vlog is the same one as this one except this one is in a gray and this one was 4.99 so that's my little old navy haul. i'm gonna go ahead and put these away and then go ahead and jump on this call 
I, first of all, I'm out of breath because I was running up and down the stairs, but <clears throat> this chicken dumpling soup thing from Trader Joe's is so good. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to go back and get more. So yeah, if you see these on the shelf, make sure you grab them. I just got back from the stores. It's so cold outside because the wind is literally blowing so hard. But I wanted to show y'all what I got. This is a haul from last night because I went out to Hobby Lobby last night. And then from this morning, today's Friday, I'm about to show y'all this. Put this food away because I ended up going back to Trader Joe's for those chicken soup dumplings. And then um, I'm going to jump on a call with Mona because we have a lot of stuff to get through. But I wanted to show y'all what I ended up getting. I'm trying to fix this sweater because it looks crazy. My lips feel dry. I ended up getting the Starbucks terracotta recycled tumbler. They came out with the mint green one. I had it in a previous vlog and I saw this. It's, I got it for $19.95. I saw this um, just sitting at Target, the Target I went to yesterday. And I did not know it was going to be this hard to find because then I went to two other Targets today because I was looking for one of my friends. They had this really nice terracotta one. And it's recycled, made out of recycled material. I can try to find a picture and insert it, but supposedly it's not supposed to release till the 30th. So I don't know why this particular Starbucks already went ahead and released those things. But I ended up getting this one just because I love the glass. Y'all know how I am about anything see-through. So I just had to get this. But this is the first thing that I ended up getting. Then I was at the other Target and ended up getting this straw set. It's just super cute. Comes with these straws right here. I believe they're for the venti cups. But this one is just like a gold, green, white, and black stripe. And then just their traditional green. And it also comes with a straw cleaner. But I thought this is just such cute packaging. So I'm going to put this in her box. Hopefully it fits. I also got her these, this came from Target, but it's in the Starbucks bag. The Sharpies, I got a pack for myself. I, there are certain friends that I'm always like, buy one for me, buy one for you. And Ali and I both love stationery, so I also got this for her. I'm kind of going for black and neutrals in her box. I got this for Melissa. I didn't get any for myself because I have some gold heart-shaped ones and I think silver. I just don't need any more spoons to be honest, but I feel like this would be really cute for some teaspoons. I think that she drinks tea at night or hot tea. I know she doesn't drink coffee, so I just thought this would be a cute little dainty spoons to add to her kitchen. Last but not least is I ended up getting this a cold cup keychain. It was the last one. I don't usually collect these, but because it was black and the way it looks, I was like, I need this. I think I'm actually going to put it on my key chain. It is a little bit pricey. Honestly, the Starbucks merchandise went up over the past like year because this is $14.95. I swear these used to be like $9.95. And then this cup probably would have been like $15. But I wanted the black one of this, but it was $29.95. And I just feel like that's too much for a cup. And I had to justify spending even this one. So I wanted this one, the black one, and the terracotta one the one that looks like this but it's all recycled uh plastic i had to make choices and i just ended up going with the glass one but now i'm kind of regretting not getting the other two but that's okay i i don't need all of those things so i ended up getting this gold cup keychain so this is for myself to trader joe's i got two of these cards not because i was going to write anything in them it says a good book is an essential element in the living of a good life but this is what the front looks like it's so stinking cute it's somebody reading a book there's some pastries, looks like some tea right there. And I was just like, this is us in a card. I got this from Trader Joe's. And if you don't know, Trader Joe's cards are only 99 cents. So if you're ever shopping there, I typically try to just grab some here and there. So any friends that have birthdays, um, if they got promoted, just like thank you cards. I try to pick them up because they're really cute. So I got two of these, one for me, one for her. Chomps free range turkey jerky. It was pretty good. It wasn't spicy or anything, but it was good. This is an OD but a goodie. I always talk about this and prepare for my breakouts because anytime I eat this, I always get a ton of breakouts. But this is milk chocolate covered pretzels from Trader Joe's. I love these and I didn't pick it up on the last trip, but my period's coming. So I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna fight the craving. Some coconut water. This one for Melissa's box is jelly bean hearts. I'm trying to put a wellness box together, which this is the thing. I know jelly beans and wellness do not go together, but this was just too cute to pass up. I mentioned that I got the chicken taquitos from Trader Joe's. I tried this one in the past and this one tastes better than the chicken one. The chicken one is just giving unseasoned, not a lot of flavoring. I'm not really a huge fan. I don't think I'll repurchase that, but I'm not gonna waste it. I 
Trader Joe's dark chocolate covered almonds. These are really good, but I will tell you this. If you are not a huge fan of dark chocolate and the bitterness and the cacao-ness of dark chocolate, this one is really, really dark chocolate, if you know what I mean. I remember one of my friends, I told her, I was like, oh my gosh, I love those. You should get a pack. She got one and she was like, oh, Demi, I can't eat this. So she didn't like it. This was a good hit. This is 100% or it doesn't say 100%. I thought it said 100%, but natural turkey jerky and teriyaki flavor. This was so good. I finished the last one. Um, so I ended up just picking another one. It's a good like on the go snack. The steamed chicken soup dumplings. This is what I initially went for. I got three boxes because heating this up, putting a little bit of coconut aminos and a tad bit of soy sauce. It's so good. This is such a good quick meal. And when I was looking, it was 250 calories for the entire container for six dumplings. So I was like, that's not too bad when it comes to calories. So that's everything that I ended up getting from Trader Joe's. Let me put these back in here haul for now hobby lobby i went to hobby lobby so i mentioned before that when i put gifts together and stuff i either try to use reusable bags some type of tote something that the girls can walk away and not have to worry about throwing it away so um i try to find either boxes bags just reasonable things so i got this one for ollie's it is a storage photo box it was only 2.99 so i think her stuff should be able to fit in here i'm kind of scared that it's not Oh, okay. I might just have to fold this top part. But I got this one for Ollie. So it's just a black one. And I figured she could also use that for her nail supplies. And then for Melissa, I got this really cute pink one. It's magnetic right here. And this one was $6.99. But the spring shop collection at Hobby Lobby was 40% off. So I think I got it for like $4.19. But this one is such a good size. So I'm going to start putting her things in here and keep adding to it. As you all know, I also got the e.l.f. lip balm, squeeze me lip balm. So I went and got some ribbon because I want to tie a bow at the top of it. So that means I also had to get this hole puncher right here. So I'm going to see, I'll, I'll turn the camera around when I do this and show you all because hopefully it turns out right and I don't mess up the product. And then the last two things I got weren't really, they're not anything too fun, but I just got these because they're really cute. But I figured to put like little Galentine's gifts together. It's Chunky Glitter Hearts. This was also 40% off. It was $3.99, but 40% off that. But this is what it looks like here because I'm meant to put it in Melissa's stuff. But these are just um, compressed sponges. Once you put water on them, then they expand like so. I have this in my kitchen currently. So I figured I'd get a couple for her so she could have it for hers. But that's everything that I ended up getting. I'm going to go ahead and... um stop filming for a quick second go put this food away and then get ready for our, our call and then i'll check in with y'all later it's been a minute since i recorded any video but i went to walmart and dollar tree because i wanted to put together a couple of valentine's um, baskets and so i wanted to show y'all what i ended up getting walmart had some pretty good stuff but i got this for melissa and i two of these hopefully the lighting's good because the sun's starting to go down but I got two of these for Melissa and I. They're these really cute heart champagne glasses. They're plastic, but they're only 97 cents. So check out your Walmart. They also came in red. But I figured when we're hanging out at night doing a puzzle or just kind of chilling on the couch, then we could have something to drink. I got four of these chocolate burgers because I'm going to, like I said, make some Valentine's baskets. And my nephew and I love these, so I'm gonna make one for him, but these are super, super good. It is a chocolate-filled burger, and then this is just like a little cracker on the outside, but they're so delicious. So I got four of these, two of these baskets right here. I got one in a pink and then a red. These were both 97 cents. So I am gonna use these for each of the baskets that I need got these tiny conversation hearts these are like the classic or original ones because i know there's a few different brands that make them Valentine's day socks they're x out heart socks i like them they kind of give me like goth vibes yeah i definitely should probably should have put the lighting on here but it's okay it's in this little heart container but they're black red and then on the hearts they have little x's so i got that for ollie's basket and then this is a valentine's day notepad cute valentine's day notepad cube for 297 it's just super cute there's like a strawberry here checkered and then these designs right here dollar tree i found some cool things this i got for the baskets as fillers but they're just those little decorative um fillers they always remind me of like when you 
use a paper shredder. I got this headband, it's pink. This super cute pen, it's like a little coffee pen. I got some Uno Go cards, I got three right here. So each bass is gonna have some different things and some similar things. I got two of these flossers. Don't ever buy flossers anywhere else except for Dollar Tree. They you get the best deal. So I got two of these. One is fine and then the other one's smooth. So one's a little bit thinner than the other, as you can tell. I got these containers, these candy containers right here. And I was trying to figure out what can I put in them because I just wanted to buy these so bad. So I found these gums, this gum pack right here. So I was going to take like two and then put it in the container. I got some tissue paper to use as filler as well. And I'm going to put these baskets together. So I'll go ahead and turn the camera around. I started putting some of the Valentine's baskets together. I'm probably going to create a shorts really quickly just to show I put this together. And I'm thinking about wrapping it too with that clear like cellophane wrap. But I'm going to go ahead, close out this vlog and get a new one going because I think I have enough footage. But I will see you on the next one. Say you do,